Governor Fubara is a resolute and formidable leader in River State, Uche Sekondu says, and these are the reasons he's giving for saying that. Of course, when you see the way Fubara is running River State, he looks quiet. When you look at him face to face, he looks like Mumu to anybody. But the guy is smart and intelligent. He's a technocrat inside. He's even more reasonable and more tactical than Nguike. Nguike just do wah 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 like somebody in the in the motor park. Of course, he was the motor park chairman before he became the local government chairman. And then before he, he from there, moved on to a federal level. So what Uche Sekundi is saying that Fubara is very resolute and very formidable. Muni is insurmountable. The guy is strong. That is it. For Uche Sekundi to say this, because Nguike has battered him in PDP. So he, he gave up, he gave up, you know, he threw in the towel and, and left. Because Nguike frustrated him when he was the PDP national chairman. And Nguike thought that by removing him and putting a northerner there, that will help him to become the, uh, the take the presidential ticket of, Labour, of a PDP, uh, you know. But when he entered the game, Atiku used northern politics to throw him aside. And now he started behaving like a tiger. Okay. Now the, the reason why he fought Secundus to leave PDP, he couldn't achieve it. Hey. I pity Secundus anyway. So Secundus cannot talk because Fubara is, is now up and, uh, you know, has pulled his sleeve and doing his, protecting himself and running his show. And nobody is, even Mike as, 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 a uh, tyrant as he is, he's not able to push Fubara aside. This is the power of executive. <laughs> According to Vanguard News, River State Governor Simnalai Fubara has been described as a tough and unshakable leader by Uche Secundus, a close ally and former national chairman of the People Democratic Party, PDP. So despite facing numerous challenges, including power struggles with former Governor Nyesu Nguike and opposition from rival parties, Fubara remained resolute in his commitment to addressing the state's pressing issues. So one of the notable aspects of Fubara's leadership is his commitment to transparency and accountability. His administration has made effort to probe major activities and contracts awarded by the previous administration, a move that has been praised by many as a step towards ensuring accountability and good governance. This commitment to transparency has earned him the endorsement of Secundus, who believes that Fubara's leadership style is necessary to navigate the complex political terrain and address the state's pressing uh, issues. <laughs> So under Fubara's leadership, River State has uh, achieved significant developmental strides in critical sectors such as education, health, rural development, and urban renewal. The governor's administration has invested heavily in these areas, resulting in tangible improvements in the lives of the people of the state. However, his administration has not been without its challenges. The governor faces allegations of mismanagement and corruption, as well as growing concerns over the state's security situation. Despite these challenges, Fubara remains committed to charting a new course for the state and addressing the pressing issues facing his people. Hmm, I love that. Secundus, who is a longtime ally of Fubara, remains steadfast in his support for the governor, citing his tough and unshakable approach as necessary to navigate the complex political terrain and address the state's pressing issues. As the governor continues to face challenges from both within and outside his, his party, it remains to be seen whether his commitment to transparency and accountability will be enough to overcome the obstacles he faces. Can you imagine? My own is Secundus can talk now. Secundus is in PDP. They cannot call Mwike to order. Secundus, uh, Damagu, uh, Atiku, all of them are there when Damagu is now working for Mwike. Mwike has bought almost everybody. Okay. Secundus, like I said earlier, Mwike frustrated him out of a chairmanship of PDP. And he kept quiet for a long time, even when the PDP was doing his uh, national presidential primaries. Okay. Secundus did not contribute significantly there. So now that Fubara has fought himself to fought for himself to a point now that he's gaining stability, Secundus is speaking. Well, 
that's fine. If you cannot win, then you join them. If you cannot fight for yourself, better join the person that is fighting and winning so that you can also uh, benefit from the glory or also uh, use that to protect yourself. Okay, and uh, in the comment section, somebody has said something. You know, it's a very brilliant one from the priest of Riverland. <laughs> Real priest of Riverland. So, why is his name? Uh, uh, Fubara is a very brilliant person. And I see that. I see that. It's very, very clear that Fubara is a very, very brilliant person. I must tell you the truth. So, with what is happening in River State, I tell you, he is the most... A terrorized governor in this um, uh, administration. Okay, what is happening to him has never happened. In fact, the only time it happened was when Ngigi was one time an Anambra state governor, when he was even kidnapped from office as a governor. That was when it happened. And that was when Chris Ngigi and all these uh, Chris Oba and Andy Oba and all of them, okay, all of them were fighting him left, right, and center. So, since then, since after Ngigi got that kind of problem, um, kidnapped as a governor, no other governor has suffered the way this one is suffering now. I'm telling you. If not for, uh, for some reasons, maybe for myself, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't think, I think probably he would have also been kidnapped because the forces against him in River State from opposition, uh, internal opposition, let me use that word, because the people fighting him are also member of the, the same PDP party with him. So, internal opposition is what is giving him problem. And those internal oppositions, I know they have capabilities to kidnap the government if they want to. But for some reason, it has not happened. Maybe God is on the side of Fubara because he played along like a fool with them until he became the governor. And then he started showing them the reason he played along with a fool and the reason he wanted to be governor. It's not to, you know, to satisfy their ego or to give them what they're asking for but to make sure things are put right in the state, to correct the wrongs. I'm telling you, I think Fubara is doing well generally because all these people that are commenting, even some other governors, if they face what Fubara is facing, they will fail. Some will resign. Some will be kidnapped. Some will fall sick. Some will be traveling out of the state almost all the time. They will not even be comfortable to stay in the state to govern. So Fubara has tried. He has not traveled out of the, out of the country. He has not traveled out of the state seriously. He may just made a few trips. He's still there with them. They talk day and night. He's there with them. They bring out a fight and fire. He's there with them. So what else can you get? From, do you expect to get from the governor? He's very resolute and he's very unshakable, according to Edison here. Okay, and the man is very, very strong. He's very, very strong. He's very, very strong, and I, that is good for him. That is very, very good for him. So he's a he's a strong political leader, very, very strong political leader, and I think he. He will, he will succeed. He is somebody that will succeed. He is somebody that will, that will succeed. So let Uche Secondus, uh, you know, come up together with other PDP members or other goodwill politicians in the state to continue to support Fubara and continue to render Nguke politically irrelevant in the state.